We are back with yet another tag video and this one is super fun, so let's get into it. If you guys are new here, my name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So thank you Lou for tagging me in this video. If you haven't seen her video, I'll leave it linked in the description box below. If you're not familiar with FOMO, FOMO is basically like fear of missing out. So you buy things because you have a fear of missing out. Um, you wanna see what the hype is all about. So these are a few items that I got. Uh, more often than not, I am pretty influenced by social media. I think partly it's because being on social media, but um, even before, I think if you bombard me with enough ads, if I see enough on enough influencers, I'm going to want to get it. I'm going to be brainwashed into thinking I need it. So these are a few items I got because I had FOMO. So without further ado, let's get into it. So the first item I got because I had FOMO was the Louis Vuitton Neverfull. This was my like first big girl purchase, you know, and I think that because so many people get this as a their first big girl purchase, I also felt like I wanted to get this as well. Were there other tote bags out there that may be an all leather option or that was probably cheaper? Sure, yes, I very well could have done more research, but I saw everyone with the Louis Vuitton Neverfull in monogram canvas and I said, yes, I need it. This bag gets a lot of hate now and I think when I got it, it was probably the peak of like when everyone had it before people started hating on it. And um, now it, this bag gets a lot of hate. I don't think it really deserves that much hate because it still is a really good bag. It's a durable bag. It's just not one that I look at and I'm like, wow, I love this so much. Um, it's just I got this because I had... I had FOMO and I wanted to see what the hype was about. The next bag I got because I had FOMO was the Dior Book Tote. Um, I made a video maybe back in 2020, like when I first started on TikTok and I said, this bag is a waste of money. This is a fabric bag for $3,000, complete waste of money, overpriced, don't do it. And here I am with the Dior Book Tote. <laughs> I still don't know if it's worth it, but I loved this Trois de Jouy pattern. I couldn't find anything else like it. Dior doesn't have that many bags that are in Trois de Jouy pattern. I got the Twillies, um, not these Twillies. I got a pink Twilly originally, and I was like, okay, hopefully this will quench my thirst for, you know, wanting Trois de Jouy, and it didn't, so I got this bag. Um, granted, I did get it in Hawaii, so I ended up saving 17%, um, and I think it was partly because I was brainwashed by social media thinking I needed this bag. I thought, like, how cute would this bag be if it just sat on top of my suitcase, you know, and um, partly also because I didn't want to miss out on saving 17% on the bag, I decided to get it. Um, honestly, have no regrets. Um, I think that this is a gorgeous bag, not the most practical bag, but but um, I don't have anything else like it. And I feel like it's almost like a piece of art, you know? The next bag I got because I had FOMO is the Feel Robin Konkin. So I got this early like 2019. And um, this was at the point when I had just enough disposable income that I was like, okay, yeah, I can spend $100 on this backpack, not a problem. And um, it was a super trendy backpack at the time. Also, when you're like in your early 20s, you're teetering between like dressing like you're 15 or dressing like you're 35. Like there's kind of no in between. And um, so I got this backpack. It was definitely leaning more towards like the 15 age range. Um, but I think that this bag is a like still a really good backpack to use for travel. Um, it does fit an iPad, it fits, you know, a full size water bottle. And I got this because it was all the rage on social media and I had to see what it was about. I never see this bag anymore. I probably haven't seen this bag in at least two years, like out in public, but um, if it came down to it and I'm traveling, I'm still gonna use this bag. The next item I got because I had FOMO was the Super Mini Dionysus. Um, I already sold this. So if you haven't seen like why I sold it, um, you can check it out here, but I already sold this bag and I got this because I really had FOMO um, with the mini bag trend. I didn't have any stupidly tiny bags like I have now and I felt like the super mini was still practical enough. It was still reasonable price point enough and um, I just wanted something from the Gucci Dionysus, Dionysus line and so I ended up getting the super mini um, and I ended up selling her within about six months because it was just too small. The next item, my most recent purchase because I have FOMO is the Jacquemus Le Bambino. Um, I think in general I got Jacquemus because because I was seeing all the hype around it 
and um, some people were saying they had quality issues with it some people were saying they love it they use it every day so I finally decided to get one um, granted this technically didn't come out of my own pocket um, this was part of a brand deal that I did where they gave me credit so I was able to purchase this bag I have quite a few cons with this bag but I'll make a separate video on it everyone was raving about Jacquemus it was all of the rage I feel like with Jacquemus the Le Chiquito um, if you don't remember the I'll put it here for you guys um, that that really put Jacquemus on the map and the, ever since then they started coming out with more styles more colors I love the color variety of it but if I'm being honest like with myself and being honest with you guys I really got this bag because I knew it would make for a good unboxing I knew that you guys were interested in seeing a review and you know thoughts and what fits and so um would I have purchased this bag myself with my own money probably not but um I used this once and I am glad that I have it. I think it's a gorgeous color. I just don't know that I would have purchased it myself if it weren't for that collaboration. And last but not least, the item that I had a lot of FOMO with and I wanted to see what the hype was about, I wanted to be on trend, was the Gucci Marmont belt. This was such a hyped up belt and I don't know like for what reason. I. I don't remember at least in the last five years since I started like getting into luxury and things like that, that there was any other belt that was as hyped up as the Gucci belt. Um, and as fast as people hyped it up, they were very quick to hate on this belt. And I loved this belt. I wore it all the time. I wore it th at least three times a week. I really loved, loved, loved this belt. And I feel like I got my money's worth from it. And I ended up selling it because I ended up finding a different belt that I wanted more. Um, something that was a little bit less, you know, basic and something that I think would be a little bit more timeless. Um, at the time that I sold the belt, it wasn't really because I was like, oh, people are hating on this belt now. I should sell it. It was more so that I wasn't reaching for belts. Um, I wasn't wearing pants that required belt in the peak of COVID, you know, all of these things. And so um, I decided to sell her. It did start to tarnish by the time that I sold it, which was a little bit disappointing when you're paying, you know, $350, I think at the time. Now it's over $400 for this belt that's going to tarnish in less than two years. That kind of upset me. Um, but I 100% got this belt because I had FOMO. Um, I wanted to see what the hype was about. I wanted it look like everyone else. And I don't think that's a bad thing. There's a lot of people on social media that's going to make you feel bad about one wanting to look like everyone else. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I'm not a trendsetter by any means. And I, yes, I want to follow the crowds. And that was a belt that I got because I wanted to follow the crowds. This was such a fun tag, Lou. Thank you so much for tagging me. Um, I've tagged a few friends in the description box below to spread the love. Um, if you are also interested in doing this tag, please do it. Um, and of course, tag me in the video. I'd love to see it afterwards. Let me know in the comments if there's any items that you got because you had the fear of missing out. Um, I'll leave another video for you guys here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.